What's going on cab training family? Jacob Cabazuto here. And today we're gonna to be talking about route running, more specifically speed cuts. So make sure you guys like and subscribe before anything and let's get better today. So if you haven't heard about a speed cut before, basically with a speed cut, it's working on making one step and accelerating off of it right off the bat without changing speeds. Speed cuts are very helpful when it comes to open field moves as well as route running. If you're trying to make a defender miss in a hurry and you're a ball carrier, a speed cut's great because you can shift your hips rapidly without changing speed and you accelerate out of that cut to create separation. Same with route running. When you guys are route running, if you make that one step plant and turn those hips, you're gonna create separation with that defender who's defending you and you're gonna get open and more targets. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how we go through a speed cut when it comes to being a ball carrier as well as being a receiver. So first we're gonna to touch on doing a speed cut while being a ball carrier. Right here, ball security is everything when doing a speed cut because a lot of people, when they make a speed cut, they start waving the ball around and being not very careful with the ball. So one, one main thing right off the bat is to keep that ball high and tight while you're making a speed cut. So when you're turning, that ball is protected and nobody can punch it out. Second of all, we wanna dip our shoulder just slightly when we make that speed cut so we can really accelerate into the next direction. Acceleration is key when we're playing football and when you're making somebody miss. So if you are able to dip that shoulder and aid in your acceleration on this speed cut, you're gonna be deadly and you're gonna be able to expose your defender and leave him in the dust. Now for route running. When it comes to being a receiver, have you ever been told by your coach to run your route at full speed no matter what? Well, I'm gonna tell you that part of that is a myth. When it comes to route running, and accelerating and creating separation, you have to budget your speed and you have to budget your acceleration so you could be most effective and create the most separation as possible. When it comes to the bottom of the route versus the top of the route, let's say you're running a post or a corner, the bottom of the route, the very beginning, you should run just below full speed, 85 to 95% of your full speed so you can give yourself a little bit of a cushion so you can accelerate to that full speed, create separation and hustle your defender. Top of the route, you go full speed so you can create that separation. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys like this video and subscribe to Cab Training for more position specific drills, speed and agility content and fitness tips. And let's get better today.